is free. So, Dylan, I've seen a few things online, obviously, back and forth between yourself and Andy Ruiz still. What's going on there, mate? Andy Ruiz is a fat piece of shit, man. I saw it. Listen, the guy, we made the guy two offers to fight. Obviously, you know, um, he tried to, he tried to make you look at, I don't want to fight when he's in, I don't want to fight because I told him you had to go and source him. I want to fight him next because he just had two good fights with Joshua. Hey, it's the Empire, Geoboxing Empire, Backstar Boxing. Now, man, you guys heard the audio from my boy, Dillian, the body snatcher, white man. He calls Andy Ruiz. <laughs> he says he's a fat piece of shh. You guys heard the audio, man. You guys heard the audio of my boy, Dillian White, man. Now, man, there's some real animosity between Dillian White and Andy Ruiz, man. It seems that people that are locked up inside, all they do is think about the people they hate. You know, some people... Some people do positive things when they're locked in. You know, some people read a book. Some, some people some people do some stuff for a community. And some people just think about that guy they hate. And Dillian White, man, he's in that situation right now. He does not like Andy Ruiz right now. And the guy is working out every day. And um, it's wild, man. The IFL TV interview, man, I'll link in the description for you guys. I gave you a snippet of the audio. The thing is like 22 minutes long. You know what I mean? But, but Dillian White basically talks about how he's basically in a remote place, basically with his friends, nine people and some dogs, whatever. And he's just training right now. And he's just talking trash about my boy, Andy Ruiz. Although apparently, there's supposed to be a fight made between Dillian White and Andy Ruiz. And then... Um, According to Dillian White, Andy Reese didn't want the fight. He didn't take the fight, you know? And this is wild stuff, man. Uh, so we're going to see how Andy Reese responds to this because, you know, they say, man, there's always two sides to every story. And from what Dillian White says, Andy Reese does not want this fight. Now, I'm going to weigh in on this a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, now, there's fighters out there who will fight a lot of people, but they won't fight others. Dillian White has fought in... He's fought the uh, former WBA regular title champion, uh, Lucas Brown, right? Knocked him out. Fought uh, former undefeated WO fighter, Joseph Parker, and beat him UD. And I can go on and on about Joseph Parker's accolades, right? He beat Derek Chisora by knockout. I can keep going on and on and on about Dillian White's resume, man. He has a pretty good resume. Same thing at Andy Reese, man. He, be, he be actually beat... Uh, Joseph Parker, he was, no, I lied. He didn't beat Joseph Parker. <laughs> he beat Anthony Joshua for, uh, you know, the, the, basically the thing that gave him fame. And, you know, he, he fought some tough opposition as well that's, that people don't really think about. Hard contenders that Andy Reese fought that people really don't give him credit for. You know, Andy Reese is actually a phenomenal fighter. A lot of people didn't know he was a, a former Mexican Olympian and he fought, he represented Mexico in the Olympics, you know. Um, you know, got one of his other good wins are Alexander Yontranko, Kevin Johnson. The guy has some decent wins, right? Now that being said, man, um, we're gonna see where Andy Ruiz really goes in his career from here because it's one thing to look bad against a champion, but when he starts competing against other elite low opposition around in his weight class, we're gonna see how he really performs. You know, someone that's recently good. You know, maybe like uh, Adam Kronowski, maybe like a Charles Martin. Maybe like a, you know, a Dominic Brazil, fire fighters like that. Fighters who we know are top level fighters, at least like top 10, right? Now, I, it's just crazy that he came out and said that though, man. Like that was, that was pretty aggressive. You know, he called him a fat piece of, sh you know what I mean? It, it was wild stuff, man. We're going to see how this whole thing unfolds, man. You know, um, in my opinion, I kept saying it, I'm going to keep saying it. They're probably going to make this fight with Dillian White and Andy Reese, man. It seems like this is a fight that should be made. Um, a lot of people were talking about how Jillian White, <laughs> unfortunately for him, he's been attaching his name to Deontay Wilder for so long. Now that Deontay Wilder took that L, you know, it become it it, it 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 becomes out of taste to trash a guy who already took the biggest loss of his career because you're attaching his name to someone that basically damaged goods. So what's the next best thing? Andy Reid's the next best thing. Andy Reid's right now, he lost to AJ, but it was a UD. It wasn't really anything devastating to his career. And I think Andy Reid's right now still has a high uh, cap to become a superstar. So therefore, uh, Dillian White is attaching his name to Andy Reid's, man. I might have to make another video about that, but that's a really big deal because Andy Reid's right now is is like the hot commodity that with, with an untapped potential. Because like I said, losing in UD doesn't really mean much. 
at all in boxing, especially if you have if you're you know you got the right fan base. So that being said, man, Dillian White is basically attaching his name to something else in Andy Ruiz. Now we're gonna see how this whole thing unfolds. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Do you guys think Dillian White is attaching his name to a new fighter instead of Deontay Wilder ever since that L happened? You know, what I mean, um, Dillian White giving a Deontay Wilder fight is just far fetched right now. Um, they're gonna be running that Tyson Fury fight in, until they're old. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it seems like forever. It's crazy, you know. Um, back in the day, it used to be commonplace to run a fight three, four times back. You know, these days, man, it's, it's sort of redundant. It's ridiculous. You know, people don't really want to see a fight ran back, back to back to back to back. You know, what I mean, maybe if there's like pauses in between, but man, you know, it gets a little tiring when a guy's fight over and over and over again. But anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Uh, Dillian White trashes my boy Andy Reese. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace. Geobasic.